Okay, so we've installed Python, now it's time to install our virtual environment. And a virtual environment is sort of a little walled garden that allows us to install different things on our computer in a safe little area. If we blow it up and do something wrong, it doesn't hurt the rest of our computer. It also allows us to install different versions of things. So we can install different versions of Python, different versions of Django inside of our virtual environment much easier than installing them in our main computer. So it's just the best practice, especially with Python and Django, that you use a virtual environment it's totally free and really easy to set up and use, so we're going to do that in this video. Now, in order to use Django, we need a command line terminal. If you're on a Linux or a Mac machine, that's built in. They also have one here on Windows machines. Most people don't know about it. So head over to our start menu and type in PowerShell. And this is probably off to the side, you can't quite see it here. But the first thing that pops up is Windows PowerShell. And the first time we run this, we need to right click and run it as administrator, very important. And the reason why we need to do this is sort of like with the path thing we just did when we installed Python. We need to set the execution policy to unrestricted so we can use this, we can run commands in any folder, etc. cetera. And uh, it's just sort of something we have to do. So as administrator type set, capital S, dash execution, policy, all one word, capital E, capital P, and then space, and then set it to unrestricted. And it says, are you sure? Type in yes, and so now we're good to go. So we can type python-v, and we see Python version 3.6.5, which is cool. We can go pip freeze, and this will tell us all the Python type things that are installed on our computer. I'm getting a antivirus thing that's scanning it to make sure it's okay. You may or may not get that, no big deal. And so this shows I've got a bunch of different Python things already installed. You probably won't have any of this stuff. Uh, but right here it says virtual env. You won't have that either. I've already installed this. But this is what we're going to use to set up our virtual environment. So in order to install this for the first time, since you probably don't have it on your computer, type in pip install virtual env and it might say are you sure click yes and it should go through it now i've already got it installed so it's it's not going to install it again on mine but we're good to go so now we need to make a directory where we're going to keep all of our code and not our django code we're going to keep our django code there too but right now we just need a directory where we want to set up our virtual environment so i'm going to type in mkdir which stands for make directory and let's call it c backslash what do we want to call this let's call it django dash projects i don't know doesn't really matter so now we can change directory into our django dash projects and if we list it, there's nothing in there. Now we've downloaded virtual environment. Now we need to actually fire it up and use it. And to do that, we type in virtual env and then the period. The period stands for right here. Just do it right in this directory, in our Django projects directory. So we can see it does some things. It should install, download and install some stuff. It's installing setup tools, another version of pip this wheel thing and it's done so now if we list the stuff in our directory again we see all of these different things are now included which is very cool so that means that virtual environment has been set up we now we need to just turn it on and then to do that we type period forward slash scripts because it's in this scripts directory right here and then forward slash activate and now it's turned on and running. And we know that because our directory has these parentheses around it. So if you're on a Mac or a Linux, the command is slightly different. I think it is, let me think here. I believe the command is source bin activate on Linux or Mac. Uh, you can look that up to make sure, but I think that's what it is. Now to turn this off again, we can type in deactivate, deactivate. And boom, you see those parentheses disappear. Uh, to turn it back on, same thing, just like that. So very cool. Now we can type pip freeze again. And again, I get my antivirus thing. You probably won't get that. But this time nothing shows up because we're now inside of our virtual environment and inside the virtual environment, there is nothing installed. So that's kind of cool. So if we list the stuff, we can see all, the only thing in here are the things for our virtual environment. We haven't actually installed or started using Django. So we'll do that in the next video.